Hello everyone, welcome to Red Men TV. Steve Ho here, and yes, I have just spoken to Gold.com's Neil Jones on Jano Insight. One of the topics we brought up was Moises Casado and the reports from Sky Sports that Liverpool are still interested in the Brighton midfielder. Of course, he's under the subject of a bid from Chelsea as well. But yeah, Liverpool are apparently still interested, and I asked Neil all about that one. I start with Moises Casado because I thought it was interesting. Obviously, the latest on him is that Chelsea had a bid rejected. Um, Fifty-five million pounds. I think David Ornstein reported rejected, but uh, Dharma Sheth, which is easy to say, of Sky Sports says um, Chelsea are one of the three clubs who've not given up on signing them. Liverpool remain interested. We've we've heard this a while now. Is this just a case? I might as well throw it to you that the money's got too much because if they're after after fifty-five million getting rejected, and there's talk that Brighton, we know are are good sellers. Mm. You know, you're probably looking to add another twenty million quid on that one. The Liverpool remain interested. Yeah, that's all well and good, but. Are we, are we again? Are we back just down to a, a transfer fee? Do you think? Possibly, yeah. I, I, I had a conversation with Moises Caicedo this week with someone who, you know, I, I sort of tentatively mentioned fifty mil, and the, the sort of said it'll be more than that. You know, obviously it will be. A, I think it'll be a lot more than that. If you think that they got what was it fifty five plus from Mark Cucurella, yeah. Um, they're just selling Trossard as well, so they don't, yeah. they don't want to do too much. Yeah, change exactly over. that. I mean, I, I don't think Brighton will sell this month. I've said that for a few few weeks. Um, it would be, it would need some justification from Brighton if they if they were to do it. You know, if if you were sort of a Brighton fan, you'd be looking up where they're they're going, and you'd say, well, why would you do that in the middle of the season? Um, and his value is not going to go down between now and then unless he gets a bad injury. Such would hopefully he doesn't. Um, obviously Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea are buying everyone, aren't they? That's that sort of seems to be their their way at the moment. They've just they're going to get the guy from PSV Eindhoven, Madueke. They just bought Mudrick. Um, there'll be others coming in. I'm, I'm sure. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the other bright midfielders on their agenda at some point, McAllister. Um, but yeah, it's gonna he's gonna go for he's gonna go to a, a Champions League level club. <laughs> Obviously, Chelsea and Liverpool at the moment. <laughs> Chelsea and Liverpool, unfortunately, aren't at that level at the moment. Yeah, he's gonna move down to Premier League. Um, but he's gonna move to that kind of you know elite club, and I think he's gonna go for elite money as well. Um, I think Liverpool would like to have them. I think there'll be a lot of clubs, and Liverpool will be one of them, who will be asking their scouting departments, "Where were we? Where were we? You know, why is this guy, why is this guy come from, you know, South America, spent a year on loan in in Belgium, played a few games for Brighton, and all of a sudden he's an 80, 80 90 million pound player or seventy five, eighty million pound player? You know, could we have done that? Liverpool have had some success with players from South America. You know, you think of they've been aware of you know players like. Firmino, Allison, very early on, and and monitor, been able to monitor their progress. Um, you think of you know they've got a lad called Anderson Arroyo who they spotted at a youth tournament, who's who's parked on loan in Spain and and places like that. So, yeah, it wouldn't have been beyond the realms for them to be aware of Moises Casado. You would hope they were, but I think there'll be questions asked as to why, you know, why we haven't sort of been able to get him for the four or five million pounds rather than the seventy five eighty million. Yeah, it's, we keep hearing the pool interest in, in loads of lads, but we, we said last week, didn't we? Your gut feeling, this wasn't based on it, this was your opinion, was that you still thought you were probably going to sign him a fielder if, if you had to have a guess. Has anything changed in the last week from your? Because if if, if anything, it feels like the, the shutters have come even further down. Jürgen spoke about it again. He had, yeah. he had a bit of a go, didn't he, uh, uh, in the press conference, having a, a little bite back about the money stuff as well. It almost felt like the shutters have come down as if to say, no, it's not happening even more now. Yeah, but my, my as I say... He said that in the summer, didn't he? You know, yeah. I wrote, I wrote, you know, yeah, plenty of times. Jurgen Klopp dismisses the idea of Liverpool signing a new player. Liverpool signing a new player. Um, I think he done it last January, but we, you know, now we're done for the for the window. There's Luis Diaz a week later or two two weeks later. My my gut was always that it'd be an op- an opportunistic signing, a loan player or a, a short term sort of addition. Um, I still think there's a chance of that. You know, there's still. There's still ten days left. There's still plenty of time for calves and hamstrings and issues to emerge. We've seen a story this week about Arthur Mello potentially, you know, interest from Brazil. Wouldn't at all amaze me. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's gonna happen or it's it is happening, but it wouldn't amaze me at all if you got his loan Kai Bosch and, and someone else coming in and taking that spot. Um so I think there's still I still opportunities. I wouldn't I've I've learned long ago not to sort of not to write that things like Liverpool have done or no further arrivals, you know, you can you can certainly reflect that the mood music is that P 
people at the club are saying no, I've not, we don't think so. But I still think there's there's possibilities for Liverpool, and I still think they should be doing something. He mentioned didn't he as well. He, he starts all Champions League registrations and Premier League mm. registration squad size. It does yeah. feel it would have to be someone maybe would have to go out before they did it potentially half as a potential option. Obviously, my guess is a Virgil wasn't injured. Matt Phillips could have been that guy again. We keep Adrian. Adrian, maybe There's, there are options there, but that was that's the other thing that you probably have, you have to throw into this as well. It's like everyone has a little go about sell to buy and all that kind of stuff. This might not be a money thing for sell to buy. It might just be a, a room within the squad. They yeah. decided that they had to go and sign the forward because loads of them were injured. Um, and listen, they have been proven right, haven't they? If you think about it, because you had to play every single game since he arrived. But it does feel like yeah, the the, the size of the squad in general, perhaps it would. It, to facilitate it, someone would have to leave. Yeah. And that, again, there are a couple of half options, but there's no one who you go, right, he's off. Like, they couldn't really afford to let Naby or Ox go right now, for example, you would think. No. Uh, it's only, yeah, there's, there are a couple of fringe ones, but there's no, like, glaring, he goes, he comes in. That That isn't there, really. Yeah, no, there's no obvious sales, of course. I mean, the, yeah, you're right, like, Nat Phillips might have been one that, <laughs> poor lad, seems to always just sort of get, I say poor lad, he's playing for Liverpool, he's getting paid. Like <laughs> you know, he, He's not getting football, is he? You know, uh, again, I should throw another one. Came yeah, on. I thought he was good the other day. Thought he came on and done well. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, th- always, I love him. Always does, really, doesn't he? You know, like he's he's very much a reliable customer, really. Um, yeah, that that is possible. I mean, Jürgen, it's obviously been a discussion. I think there's, I think there's something around by Chet is becoming club trained at some point. I don't know if it's this January or next January, but he's not far off, and that that will help. that will help definitely in, in terms of squad registrations. Obviously, yeah, there's, there's a few players who are coming to the end of their time. Ox, Keita, Firmino, well, maybe not Firmino, Milner. But I don't see any of them leaving in this month. Certainly certainly not Keita, certainly not Firmino, certainly not Milner. Um, so, yeah, it isn't it isn't as simple as, you know, maybe there was one a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Minamino went out on loan in the on-deadline day and they brought in Kabak and Davis. I think there was a bit of that link to that. Um it doesn't feel like it's that, but you know, you look at Arthur Mello's in the squad, hasn't he's played thirteen minutes, you know, he's registered. Adrian's you've got you've got him there, you could you could easily replace an Adrian with a Quivine Kelleher or yeah, Quivine Kelleher, Harvey Davis or a, you know, whoever club trained player. So yeah, there's there's options there for Liverpool, definitely. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that clip of the Jano Insight Show. If you want the full show, then head on over to redmenplus.com, sign up from as little as a five or a month, and yet you get that in your ears as a podcast or in your eyes as a video. You can get it in both ways. All of our shows available both in podcast and video form. So, yeah, go and check out JNO Insight and all the other amazing shows you've got to offer over on redmenplus.com, and I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Hello, you wonderful Reds. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Did you know if you head over to redmenplus.com and sign up as a club legend, we will enter you into a monthly prize draw where you can win some amazing signed Liverpool gear. So get over there and get it done.